Okay, hi everybody. Yes, I had a rapture dream. So I want to tell you guys about it. Um, and I wrote it down here. So um, it was a little bit ago in June 15, 2021. Um, and to give you a little background, my family is, um, there's always happening in my family. Somebody's seeing the departed or having a vision or a dream or and it comes true so I've kind of been blessed with this since um, since I was about 15 years old um, and I'll tell you about that another time but right now I just wanted to let you know about this um, I didn't know that I could get on YouTube in 2021 and look this up so I made copies and I've passed it out to about 200 or 300 people and 15 ministers and churches and honestly um, I have only been maybe 50 percent receptive with the pastors but it seems like every single person has grabbed this dream and wanted the, the copy of it so um, uh, here we go this morning okay early I had a dream um, so this is back in 2015 I mean 2021 okay so this is what I was at this party at a neighbor's house and it was all green grass. I was looking out of a great big picture window and um, I didn't know that many people at the party so I decided to go across the street where it was a little bit more peaceful and sit on um, a little bench like a cement little bench and um, as I was sitting there the, um, the sky got dark really super dark and then it got light again then it got dark and light and this was like so pitch black I was looking at my hand and my hand I couldn't even see my hand it was so black so I was oh my gosh what's going on what's happening so I turned around behind me and um, I looked around the sky and a hole opened up like a the sky split open and there was white clouds and like a, a host though they weren't clouds they were people and they were a little blurry so I couldn't tell if it was angels or per people and in the middle was Jesus he was wearing a white gown and um, now I've seen him before lots of times and so it was him and he opened like I said to myself okay I think I'm having a dream in my dream and um, or a vision so I was saying this in my dream and I always say if this is real then Jesus moved so I know so right then he opened up his hands outward and he looked at me and just I was like oh and I, I like stunned and I just popped up out of my bed woke up and um, so that's not all there's two more parts to this so then what happened was I fell back asleep and as I was um, sleeping um, this like it was either Jesus or an angel who had their hands um, to me in my dream to start with and they took me and they took me up to another place like it was not here it was heaven and I knew it was heaven because it was beautiful absolutely gorgeous the grass was so bright green and there were children and they were playing on a playground lots and lots of little babies that were walking and talking two three like toddlers and I was looking going how could they walk around they're too little and they're they're babies and and they had toys that were different they were not our types of toys like a unicycle a little tiny toddler could never balance and play on a unicycle well they were over there they were advanced so I started asking the the angel type person what is going on what kind of toys are these how did they make them and how are they able to do this and then the um, the angel person said to me okay you have to go back now so um, I was like oh 
um, no, I want to know. But then I woke up. Okay, so that's the second part. And the third part is I fell back asleep again. And um, my first dream continued. Okay, so the first, the end of the first dream, again, Jesus was in the sky, opened his hands. I was on the bench. So I got up from the bench and I was walking across the, um, the street and into a parking lot, which was uh, like a mark store. And as I looked over, I saw an angel standing by the entrance of the store. And this was like a really tall, um, a tall black gentleman in regular clothes. And, um, and he was like blasting with like a horn. He was telling about Jesus. Like he was saying Jesus is coming with his horn or blowing the horn was something to do with this horn and I st I couldn't hear that good so I started running over to him and as I ran over to him he put this thing down and he looked at me like oh did you see something and I says yes I do I see it right now and I pointed like up and backwards above my head and I said look and he said that's you know there's Jesus and then this voice came and it said I'm coming so that was like Jesus was saying from the sky, I'm coming, okay? So um, what happened was um, this angel, I looked at him and he gave me this uh, like massive, tall, giant angel, gave me this trumpet, like bullhorn trumpet thing, like it was natural wood or something like a horn, but not a not a silver or gold horn, like a natural wood, like animal horn. So he gave it to me and he said, tell everyone. And I'm like, oh my, no, not me. So I just like looked around and um, I saw people that were coming out of the store. And most of them were like my neighborhood, seniors with white hair and like holding their little items, their one or two little items and packages. And um, they were literally oblivious to any and everything. And I was like thinking, can't they see Jesus up there right now? I mean, he's coming. It's the rapture and you're not, they don't even know or care. So um, that's what I saw. And thank you guys for listening to my three um my three parts to my rapture. Oh, yes, uh, there's one more thing. Um, so the way I knew this dream was from God was because there was flashing clock, digital clock with red numbers. It was four dot dot 19, okay? It was like 17, 18, 19, like the clock was flashing, like a warning. So... Um, so I tried to find in the Bible where it said something about 4, 16, 17, 18, 19, and I, I found it. It's in 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 to 18. And um, it says, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Um, where, wherefore, comfort one another with these words. So we telling these rapture dreams is spot on, okay? It's not like it's not in the Bible, pastors. I went to 15 churches and half of them didn't want to hear so this is spot on and it is in the Bible. We are supposed to be talking about it in the churches. And we are supposed to comfort one another with the words. Okay, now the 19 that was flashing is just sort of my thing. And um, literally, you guys, I, I feel that this Bible is going to be added to after the rapture. And verse number 19 possibly think about it 
if there was a 19, what would it be? Okay, what would it say? I'm just saying about those kids, you know? <sighs> All right, well, I got to tell you now one other thing. Okay, so my dad, now this is because I know for sure that this is going to happen pretty soon. All right, and the reason I'm saying that is because my brother is um, 70 years old, okay? And I am um, going to tell you that when I was 20, my dad had a dream about the rapture, and he said all his kids went up, all right? And my family doesn't live to 80 and 90. They die. The oldest one was 80 like 85, 80-something, 80 all right? So 82 or 3, my dad. So he didn't say he went up and my mom went up. He said all my four kids and their spouses went up, okay? So um, just to let you guys know, there's more to this story. But it's enough for right now. And, um, and so I want to let you know that it's going to be coming soon, that you should definitely be ready. Get ready and believe it. Okay? God bless. Goodbye, brothers and sisters.